EA Sports College Football 25 is coming out in just a few short months. So in this video, I'm going to go over the 15 big confirmed features that we know so far about the game. For those of you that haven't been keeping up with every single video as of late, or those of you that are new and just found out that this game is coming out, I'm going to break down the 15 things that have already been confirmed to be in the game that we can be excited about. And keep in mind, there's going to be even more info revealed about this game in May. EA is going to drop some trailers, some gameplay, and even more news that we're going to go over when the time comes. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of those important videos when they go live. The first confirmed feature for this game is Dynasty Mode, which is being called the flagship mode of this game by EA themselves. And they've spoken about this mode in multiple articles over the past couple of years, and they keep stressing how important it is to get this mode right. Dynasty Mode was most people's favorite thing about the past NCAA games and it was especially good in the final NCAA game which was NCAA 14 and they know in order to make the college football gaming fans happy they got to deliver something that's better than what they had in NCAA 14 and we know when it comes to Madden the franchise mode leaves a lot to be desired and they cannot bring that same type of thing over here to EA Sports College Football because the fans simply just will not stand for it. Now we're going to find out a lot more about what Dynasty Mode is going to include when they do the full reveal in May but so far from the things they've said it sounds like it's going to be pretty in depth and better than it was in NCAA 14. The second confirmed feature for the game is Road to Glory which is the career career mode of the NCAA football games. Now outside of Dynasty Mode, Road to Glory was a close second in terms of popularity with this game and for a lot of fans this is their mode of choice because they like to use the college games to kind of live out what it would be like if they had a professional football career. You start in high school, then you go through college, and then you can transport your player over to the Madden games which I believe is going to be coming back with this game so you can take your guy from high school all the way through an NFL career and a lot of people loved playing that mode. And EA has confirmed that it is returning in EA Sports College Football 25. And outside of Dynasty Mode, this sounds like the next mode that's going to be getting the most focus and attention. These two modes together, they know, are kind of the heart and soul of this game. And they're going to make sure to do them right. The third confirmed feature is Ultimate Team. And I know when you say that, a lot of people get a little nervous because we see what Ultimate Team has done in games like FIFA and in Madden. But NCAA 14 had an Ultimate Team as well, and that was one of the best games EA has ever made. Now, it has been reported that microtransactions are going to be at a minimum in this game, and it's not going to be as in your face as it is in games like FIFA and in Madden. I think EA knows when it comes to college football. Yes, there is an Ultimate Team crowd there. There are people that are going to like to dabble in that type of a mode, but they know the heart and soul with college football gamers is things like Dynasty Mode, Road to Glory, the offline experience, or online Dynasty if you like to do that. But those modes really live and breathe offline more than they do anywhere else and they know that that's kind of where the focus needs to be on things like that and on presentation and, and all of those little details whereas like ultimate team still gonna be there i don't think it's gonna be as much of a promotional thing and like always in your face how it is with madden and fifa that does remain to be seen but it never really was like that in ncaa 14 and i know that obviously things have changed since then so it might be a little more in your face than it was in ncaa 14 but i don't think ultimate team is going to be really as much of a driving force in this game like it is with the other sports titles i think we're going to see much more attention put in the offline and in the presentation and from all the reports and things we've heard about the game that's what they have been so ultimate team is going to be there but i don't think it's going to be too much to worry about but hold up really quickly stop right there if you're into sports and you want to try to win some money, then you've got to be on Underdog Fantasy playing their pick'em game. It's super simple. All you got to do is simply pick higher or lower on a wide variety of player stats, and if they hit, you can win some big money. And since it's currently NBA season, for example, you could take a certain player like LeBron to get over a certain amount of points, or you can take another player to get a certain amount of rebounds, or lower than that amount, whatever you think is going to happen. But the best part about Underdog Fantasy is they're going to always give you a free play right at sign up to help you win some money. This week, they're going to give you Stephanie and Curry to get a single point or if you sign up over the weekend they're going to give you Jason Tatum to get a single point and no matter when you sign up there'll always be a play just like this to take advantage of. And if that's not good enough, at sign up, if you use my code Ray, R-A-Y, they're going to also double your first deposit up to $100, meaning if you deposit $100, you get an extra free $100 on top of that to play with, and you just can't beat that. 
The fourth confirmed feature is multiple announcers, and they've already confirmed themselves that they're going to be in the game. Guys like Kirk Herbstreet and Chris Fowler, who are going to be the main announce crew, but other guys like David Pollock, Reese Davis, and even Desmond Howard have confirmed that they're in the game as well. And this is going to be something a lot of people are going to be interested in because if you've played any football game over the last 10 years, it's been Madden. It's been the only like major football game that's been out there, and they've had the same announcers for years, so people are just so tired of hearing those guys. Just having a football game with more than two announcers and just different guys in general is this going to be a brush of fresh air for football gaming fans? That brings us to the fifth confirmed feature, which is College Game Day. Some of those guys I mentioned are a part of the College Game Day crew, and it has been confirmed that College Game Day will be a part of EA Sports College Football. So I'm thinking what we're going to have is the main announcers are probably going to be Kirk and Chris Fowler, and then the other guys are going to be mostly the pregame show type of stuff. And we may even get some other guys that are going to be confirmed to be in there as well. I don't think they've told us everybody that's in the game yet, but College Game Day is just something that's going to be really fun for this game because that means they are focusing on presentation these are things that we don't really see in madden so it's good to see them coming to the college football game and that brings us to the sixth confirmed feature for this game, which is ESPN, which should be no surprise because it was also in the NCAA games as well. But ESPN will be back for EA Sports College Football 25. Why it's not in Madden, nobody really knows. I've heard in the past that it might be an NFL issue, which is the case sometimes. The NFL does veto a lot of stuff from being in Madden, which is another reason the college games are typically better because EA doesn't have to deal with the NFL, which are really strict about a lot of dumb things. So ESPN, while not in Madden, will once again be in the college games and that's something i know a lot of people love the seventh confirmed feature for ea sports college football 25 is all fbs teams now that might just seem like a standard thing that's supposed to happen but you got to license all these individual schools and there was some talk at times that some schools might not sign their license over for one reason or another but that has all been finalized and confirmed all i think 134 fbs teams it is are going to officially be in the game now in terms of fcs teams and some of those things they're probably coming at a later date from what we've heard they have not been confirmed to be in the game at launch but it could be an update or the following year they're going to get some of those smaller programs in the game as well but they said the focus for the first year was making sure that they had every fbs team in and not only getting those guys in but making sure they get all the details about those teams into the game which is kind of a big thing they've been working on for the last few years so we should see that and it should be a lot of fun which brings us to the eighth confirmed feature for this game, and that is school traditions. Now, I was just talking about how they wanted to make sure they got all the FBS teams in, but not just simply getting them in the game, but getting them in the game properly, and that includes the school traditions. That means they are having the authentic crowd chants for each of these schools. They're having the run-out songs. They're having certain songs or audio that they might play during certain parts of the game on a third down, on a fourth down, after a turnover, during a kickoff, all of those little things. They're having all the rivalry stuff really focused on for this game as well including all the trophies and things like that and the different school history all the different uniforms and throwback uniforms they're even licensing real music for some of these schools as well. Now, that's not something they're probably going to do for every single school, but for some of the big ones, for example, like Wisconsin, where they play Jump Around, and there's a lot of other schools that are known for having certain songs that they play during certain parts of the game or before the game, they're going to be licensing some of the bigger ones that people know about so that you can actually hear those in the game. And I think, again, this is where this game is going to separate from Madden in a big way, the little details, the presentation, and making sure everything's on point. The ninth confirmed feature for this game is the Frostbite engine. Now, this is the second thing on this list that's probably going to make some people uneasy because we know since Madden has switched over to the Frostbite engine, it's had more issues than it did in the past. A lot of bugs and things like that. However, I think the main difference here is that they've had a lot of time to work on this game, whereas Madden comes out every single year. So not only are they trying to do some different things, maybe add some new things, bring old things back, but they're constantly having to clean up bugs as well. Whereas when you have three plus years to work on a game, it's going to release in a much better state just because you simply had so much more time to work on it. And they've said time and time again that this game is not going to be a Madden reskin. And it, truthfully, if it was going to be a Madden reskin, the game would have been out already. It doesn't take three plus years to reskin a game. So... They have built it from the ground up, even though they're using the Frostbite engine, the engine that Madden's on. There's going to be some similarities to the gameplay, I would imagine. But even back in the day, the NCAA games were always on the exact same engine as Madden. And while certain things did play the same, there was also a lot of things that played different. The college games always played 
a little bit different than the NFL games. They're going to play faster. Certain aspects of the game are going to be smoother. Obviously, there's different rule sets and things like that. And that brings us into the 10th confirmed feature, which is team specific playbooks. And this kind of goes hand in hand with the gameplay and how it's going to be so much different than Madden. Because one area that the college games always shined was the diversity of the playbooks. And you have certain teams that run certain unique offenses that other teams don't run. And that is one of the most critical things about the college game that you have to get right are all the different play styles, the different playbooks, and the different weird plays that certain teams use. So while there will be some gameplay similarities to Madden because it is on the same engine and they are using kind of a base of Madden as a starting off point, even though they are building most of the things in the game from the ground up, things like the playbooks are going to make the game feel vastly different than Madden because you're going to have so many different plays and types of offenses that do not exist in Madden because they aren't really run in the NFL. The 11th confirmed feature for this game are real players. For the first time ever, a college game is going to have real licensed players with their actual likeness in the game. Now, it's said that they're trying to license about 11,000 players, which is going to be most of the scholarship players per team. And there obviously can be more licensed players that come later on in the year if a guy starts to emerge or somebody gets injured and the backup starts to play well they can go out and extend a licensing agreement out to individual guys but so far it sounds like well over 5,000 athletes have already signed themselves over to the game even big name guys like Travis Hunter and Quinn Ewers we're seeing them confirmed to be in the game so not only are they going to have their name their number but I believe their likeness is going to be on point as well I think they're trying to scan a lot of these players in the game using photography now I don't know how much of that's going to happen in the first year but they're trying to do the biggest likeness ever in a sports game and it's just good to know that we're actually been able to play with the real life players in a college game for the first time ever the 12th confirmed feature is the transfer portal. We know that this is one of the biggest aspects of college football these days, and it's going to be represented in this game in a big way. They said that in order to make Dynasty mode different than it was in the older games, they have to bring it up to speed with the current landscape of college football, and the transfer portal is the biggest part of that. It's basically like college free agency now. We see so many different players moving around different teams, whether it be for NIL reasons or more playing opportunity. It's kind of just open season now where you're almost almost expecting a lot of big name players to jump ship year to year to a different school and that is going to be represented inside dynasty mode in EA Sports College Football. Which brings us to the 13th confirmed feature, which is NIL. That's also going to be a part of this game as it's now a big part of real life football. It's why players go to certain schools over others. It's why players are leaving certain schools for others because they're getting these NIL opportunities. They're able to make money off of their name, image, and likeness, and they're making money off of being in this game itself. So it's kind of funny how the NIL allows them to be in this game and make money for being in this game, but it's also going to be represented inside the game as well in a fiction world where you can lure players away from other teams based on what you're going to give them monetarily so i think this is going to be a pretty interesting twist on dynasty mode that we didn't get back in the day because this just didn't exist the 14th confirmed feature for the game is the 12 team college football playoff i've seen a lot of people ask about this and yes the college football playoff is going to be updated obviously the conferences are all that's going to be updated in this game it's going to be up to par with how college football is going to be to start this upcoming season and they also said that they're going to allow this to be customizable because they said who knows where the college football playoff is going to go years from now we don't know because we've seen it change quite a bit over the last decade or so and it's probably going to change again at some point so they're even going to leave some customization in there it sounds like to expand the college football playoff if you want which i think is great they should keep it how it is aligned with real life but because it's a video game and this is like a sandbox type of game in the biggest way meaning you can kind of create things the way you want that's how a video game should be it's good to have that customization to say hey if i want my dynasty mode to have a 16 team playoff i can do that which i think is really cool and that brings us to the 15th confirmed feature which kind of goes hand in hand with that but that's customization now they haven't spoken too deeply on how good the customization is going to be we have heard rumors that team builder and user generated content will be a part of the game but that is not confirmed the thing that is confirmed is we know that customization is a big focus for the game we don't know to 
to what level they're taking it in year one. We hope it's going to be team builder with user generated content, but we know for sure that the college football playoffs going to be customizable in some way, shape or form. There's going to at least be like a creative school and obviously the ability to create players. And again, that is something that's very important to the college game. Customization is what made NCAA 14 such a legendary game. So you can't bring back the college game and have the customization be lackluster like it is currently in Madden. If we know it's a big focus, they've spoken on it multiple times, and we're going to find out more about this in the coming months. Now, if you're also interested in the upcoming Madden game that's coming out this summer, we know quite a bit about that game already as well, and you can check out that video right here on the screen.